How's it going everyone? The PlayStation Store is running the excellent Halloween sale right now and in this video I want to highlight some of those deals under $10. We've got a lot of deals in this video so let's just get right into it because there's a ton of stuff to go over and we'll kick things off once again with some Resident Evil titles because there's quite a lot of quality RE games so let's bang all of these out at once. Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 the bundle is 75% off for $7.49. I start off with this because I actually think this is one a lot of you guys don't own. I've been pretty vocal about the fact that I think Revelations 1 is criminally underrated. Originally started off as a 3DS title. Used to sell the 3DS to a lot of people but the game ended up getting ported to modern platforms, or at the time, modern platforms. I think it was PS3, 360, PC. And it's a really good game. Just keep your expectations a lot, uh, in line from a technical standpoint, and you'll have a good time with this. Fairly short, of course, but a solid game the whole way through. And then Resident Evil Revelations 2 wasn't as great. It was a different style of game. A uh, bit of an episodic nature to it. But, you know, to get that and Revelations 1 for $7.49, I think that's a damn good deal and definitely would give that a shout. Resident Evil 2, the remake, 75% off for $9.99, really started the wave of all of these Resident Evil remakes. And, man... After RE2, RE3 Remake was okay, but then the Resident Evil 2 Remake team did RE4, and that was obviously tremendous. If you want to get started with the remakes, Resident Evil 2 is a good buy. I can't really talk about it like I can talk about it uh, with RE4 because I played RE4 in the original extensively. So the remake hit home with me uh, even more so. Resident Evil 2, as far as the original release, didn't really have an affinity towards it. So the remake was something I could kind of go into it fresh. And I ended up really enjoying the game, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, 999 port is great. Upgraded on PS5, so that's quite nice. And then Resident Evil 7 Biohazard as well. 60% off for $7.99. Worthwhile game and really brought Resident Evil back from a little bit of a lull after Resident Evil 6. Although Revelations, like I said, was great. But uh, yeah, RE7 was really solid really brought it back to that eerie horror atmosphere as well just engaging all the way through it for 7.99 i mean that's a great price definitely would recommend that next up we got hades 60 percent off for 9.99 you guys this is a fantastic fantastic deal i'm not even as crazy about hades as a lot of other people not that i have anything against the game i think the game is quite great uh it's just i didn't spend the amount of time with the game that a lot of my friends did you know people that spent north of 100 hours i didn't quite get that into hades and um still amazing art style a ton of replayability engaging gameplay and we do have a follow-up in hades 2 that is of course still in early access not available on playstation yet but making a lot of progress there but hades 1 for 9.99 and hades 1 is still gonna be a game that people play even when hades 2 is out on ps5 and ps4 if it's a you know cross-gen title i don't know but i think hades 1 will be a game that people will readily still play it for 9.99 i mean this is a bargain definitely would recommend that next up we got a couple of bethesda titles Titles. Uh, Fallout 4, 75% off for $9.99. This is the Game of the Year edition, so you're getting a lot of content for your dollar. Obviously upgraded on PlayStation 5 as well. It'd be great if we could get Fallout London on PS5, but unfortunately I don't think that'll be realistic anytime soon. But... $9.99 for Fallout 4 is a great deal. You know, Fallout 4 was a game that came out with an immense amount of hype and anticipation. I still remember the reveal back in 2015. I know, like, everyone knew the game was in development, but that official reveal leading into a release six months later, that got people so excited. Nowadays, when Bethesda reveals a game, you know, they'll pull an Elder Scrolls 6 and it's not out for 10 years. Fallout 4, they revealed it and then it was out in six months. Better days for Bethesda as a whole, but, uh, yeah, Fallout 4 was really solid. I didn't like it as much as 3 or New Vegas. That seems to be the general consensus, but the game is still really great as an open world title, and with all the DLC, 9.99 is a no-brainer. Definitely would give that a look. And Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, 75% off for 9.99. Skyrim is legitimately one of my favorite games of all time. I've bought this game a ridiculous amount of times. It's just a great, great open world uh, RPG narrative is fine but from a content standpoint it's great the special edition includes the bonus stuff ps5 upgrade is there as well it's a timeless classic to me it's wild to think about that it's been 13 years but man i remember the 11 11 11 release date like it was yesterday and uh one of my uh more fond memories just gaming in general and i played this game my first playthrough was on playstation 3 man if you go back and play this game on the ps3 it is rough but i still made it the whole way through and i really didn't even 
gauge that it was, uh, you know, performing poorly or anything like that. Back in the day, you were just... I was so immersed into the game that the performance was really secondary. But yeah, $9.99 for that is fantastic. Bioshock the Collection, 80% off for $9.99. You got Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite is my favorite of the three. That seems to be a little bit of a hot take. Most people prefer Bioshock 1. It's usually 1, Infinite, and 2. And they are all great games. Most people would agree, though, that Bioshock 2 is comfortably in third place. Infinite, I loved from a setting standpoint, but all games, again, all three of these are great. Incredible atmospheres to them, narratively really strong, and the gameplay is just so great. Like, I remember when I played Infinite, I was just like, man, this is a really, really well-made first-person shooter. But uh, yeah, 80% off for $9.99, great pickup there. Next up, Bayonetta, 75% off for $6.24. I mean, a fast-paced, high-octane action game done by Platinum Games. This is Platinum Games at their absolute finest, and Bayonetta is a fantastic, fantastic game. Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll, we'll ever get Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 3 on other platforms. You know, crazy things happen in gaming. Maybe Nintendo can uh, drop those games on other platforms. I just don't think that'll ever happen. But uh, yeah, Bayonetta 1 is great, and I would strongly recommend it at this price point. Definitely a good shout. A lot of the times when I recommend Bayonetta, it's with the Vanquish double pack. I do not know if that's on sale right now. It's not. It's $40, and obviously don't spend $40 on that. But Vanquish is really good as well. Next up, Metro Exodus Gold Edition, 85% off for $5.99. You get Metro Exodus and the DLC. Metro Exodus was my least favorite of the three Metro uh, games, but it's much like Bioshock 2. Yeah, it might be the weakest, or in my opinion, the weakest. It's still a fantastic game and still very much worthwhile to go through. Visuals are great. PS5 upgrade is solid, and technically speaking, you know, on PS5, it looks fantastic. This is a game that's focused on the atmosphere, the narrative, although the gameplay is solid. Like, it's a well-refined game, and you get the DLC here. For $6, it's quite good. Usually, I do recommend the Metro Saga bundle. That's if you don't own 2033 or Last Light. That is $9 right now, so you can check that out. Uh, that deal will be coming up here in the uh, middle of this coming week because it's a part of the fall saving sale, not this sale. Next up, Alien Isolation, 75% off for $7.49. Man, a game that's been in the news cycle a little bit as it looks like a sequel for Alien Isolation is in early development. We'll see how that ultimately transpires. You know, games get in development, they get out of development. Uh, the gaming world's a wild place to be. But $7.49 for Alien Isolation is great. Incredible atmosphere, incredible tone to the game. Uh, not super, super lengthy, but still reasonable for a horror game like this. And I just thought from a psychological standpoint, it worked really good in being that style of horror game. Uh, $7.49, great pickup there for Alien Isolation. Want to give a shout out to Castlevania The Advanced collection 50% off for $9.99 now these games are a little bit of a throwback to say the least you get Castlevania Circle of the Moon Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow interestingly enough I recommended the Dominus collection quite a lot Dominus collection starts off with Dawn of Sorrow which is a direct sequel to Aria of Sorrow so it would be beneficial to play through the advanced collection uh, these games obviously show their age but you look at the reception for these games I was doing some research on on all three of these games just you know going back and seeing how these games were received back in the day they all have incredible metacritic scores like i want to say high 80s or in the 90s on all of them it's just ridiculous how consistent castlevania was as a franchise is not talked about enough this franchise was super consistent i've played a lot of these games well growing up the advanced collection obviously brings them back but they are gba games at the end of the day it's not like they're ground up remakes however konami y'all are doing a lot of remakes y'all or bring some franchises back. Castlevania is one that I think people would kill to see back. Are you kidding me? A ground-up remake of some of these games would be phenomenal. And I don't even know. I don't even think it would require that large of a budget attached to them. I just think they'd work out really well. But nevertheless, Advanced Collection, $9.99. Great deal uh, there for three titles. Next up, Dishonored 2, 80% off for $5.99. Love me some Dishonored, and it's really the franchise from Arcane that I gravitate towards the most. Unfortunately, it looks like it's been shelved for a while, so Arcane as well can chase the Marvel bag, or attempt to chase the Marvel bag with Marvel's Blade. Dishonored 2 is great, has two playable main characters, a direct sequel to Dishonored 1, so I certainly do recommend you to play that, but gameplay is great. Action stealth-oriented, but you can really tackle the game however you want. $5.99 for Dishonored 2, great pickup there. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, 85% off for $5.99, great deal for Wolfenstein 2. Narrative-driven first-person shooter, I do recommend you to play the Wolfenstein The New Order. New Colossus does get a little bit wacky, but that's about, uh, you know, standard for Wolfenstein. The base game is $5.99, but as a part of the fall savings sale, the Deluxe Edition is on sale for $8.99, so you might want to look at that. 
Otherwise, the base game for six bucks is quite good. Ghost Runner, 70% off for $8.99. You know, I really enjoyed Ghost Runner. However, this is a game that damn near made me break my controller. However, while you are going to fail a lot at Ghost Runner, what Ghost Runner does really well is keeping you consistently engaged into the gameplay loop. As in, when you fail, you're right back into your playing it quite again. Uh, you're playing it real quickly again, and you're having a great time with it. Um, again, fairly challenging, but... Uh, at the same time, quite rewarding. Narrative is kind of easy to follow, and you kind of see a lot of things coming, but I ended up enjoying the game. Ghost Runner 2 is solid as well, but Ghost Runner 1 for $8.99, pretty good deal there. Next up, Hellblade Sun will sacrifice 70% off for $8.99. I think this is a great game from an atmosphere standpoint, psychologically driven. Uh, very much on the shorter side, but it was a budget title when it released, and for $8.99, man, the experience you get out of here, and I would say it's more of an experience. It's really, really well done. Visuals are excellent and hopefully Hellblade 2 does drop on PS5 here. Uh, I would imagine sometime in 2025, like, that's the type of game that should be on PS5, uh, and it would probably do fairly well, at least, you know, better than it did on Xbox, I would imagine. A lot of people played that through Game Pass, though, so it's hard to quantify how exactly well it did. Next up, Vampire, 80% off for $7.99, a game that really fits the Halloween theme. Enjoyed Vampire a lot, done by Don't Not Entertainment, the same guys that brought you Life is Strange, and with that, the narrative in this game is quite strong. I thought the voice act was really good the atmosphere is great um gameplay does leave a lot to be desired it's it's fine it's basic but it it works well enough it'll get you from point a to point b and uh you'll have a good time with the narrative and the atmosphere 7.99 i think is a good price for that and lastly we have weird west definitive edition 75 percent off for 9.99 i have a full review of this game on the channel from when it came out thought this game was fantastic. It was very much a decision-driven game in the sense that uh, there's a lot of choices to make, not only from narrative, but also how you tackle the game from a gameplay standpoint. And more importantly than anything, there's a lot of games with decision-making. Weird West does a great job of making sure those decisions you make has real consequences throughout the entirety of the game, and then they come back to haunt you deeper into the game or pay dividends deeper into the game i really like how it was designed absolutely it is janky at times and a lot of the gameplay aspects aren't thoroughly refined but i just thought it was a really solid game for 9.99 i think it's a great pickup and i believe wolf eye studios is working on a new sci-fi rpg i want to say but they're working on another rpg and hopefully that turns out fairly well but that'll do it for me again a lot of great deals available right now as a part of the halloween saving sale check it out for yourself links to all of these under ten dollars under five dollar video to come later on but that'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.